It's Adam, the most mysterious Arsenal player to ever exist in the community. Adam would be really popular in the competitive scene and was even considered the best Arsenal player at one point. A big question comes into people's minds when someone mentions his skill. Was he actually a legit player who had a bit of luck, or was it all just a big lie? This is the unsolved mystery of Is Adam and the Adam Peak. Adam started off as a really known player, unlike other legends like Draco, for example. He was known for participating or managing Arsenal clan wars. He also had a viral video called Catching Discord Predators, which is unfortunately no longer public. Adam would also become friends with the infamous Arsenal developer, who goes by the name of Castlers, who rewarded him the monkey skin. As I mentioned in my Unsolved Mystery of the Monkey Skin video, Castlers would be the dev to give away the monkey skin to trusted friends. A few months passed, and Adam would also become friends with Draco, who arguably wasn't as known at the time, but they played plenty of scrims together. Adam and Draco would be an unstoppable duo, and they'd win Arsenal tournaments left and right. Adam would then play in the new Arsenal Competitive League, and get one of the highest ranks in the server known as R11. Adam clearly had some skills, so he decided to take advantage of this and started posting on his YouTube channel. He'd first make a really mid video, but it was his first Arsenal video on his channel. This video would be called Leftover Clips. Now I am aware that he might have posted clips before this, but this is the only video that is still public on his channel. However, on January 2021, one video that he made would pop off. This is because of the rising popularity of ACL. It would be called Arsenal Competitive League.mp4, which is basically a funny video that he made on ACL. He would showcase the funny moments that him and his friends had in the server. Adam would not just gain thousands of subs from this, but he'd also be considered one of the best Arsenal players, as he showcased himself top fragging some of the best players in the game, like LeBiggs or Draco. A year passed after this video, and people would start losing care about Adam, until he returned with another viral video. This video would double the view count of the previous video, and it would be called officially the best Arsenal player in quotes, and his skills in this video would be mind-blowing. He held YouTubers like Sir Morlock and TLX at 18, which is literally almost impossible. Adam would then be ranked R12, meaning that he matched Draco's skill and was the best Arsenal player in the entire game. Adam would end up convincing everyone that he was the best even more, with the new Good For You montage, which again showed insane skills and game sense. People would try copying his stretched res after this, and many people would start using stretched right after they saw these montages. Time passed and people didn't really know who was better, Draco or Adam. However, this would all go down soon after Draco and Adam would 1v1 in a live stream on Draco's Twitch, and someone actually re-uploaded this 1v1 into YouTube, and it now has over 190,000 views. If you guys want to check this video out, it is going to be linked in the description of this video. In this video, Adam would end up winning against Draco 32-29, and constantly knifing Draco in the 1v1. And this proved finally, that Adam was the best Arsenal player alive. Adam would also be famous for the quote-unquote Adam Peak, which he did in almost all his videos. This mysterious move would just be a simple peak, where the other person cannot see you on their screen when you kill them. This can be done by pre-firing before you peek behind a wall. This move would be pretty hard, as it involves more luck than skill. Now I'm not saying that the Adam Peak was not skilled at all, I think game sense is a huge factor when it comes to this. However, the odds, even if you're a sounder, of hitting an Adam Peak would be very slim. Things started to get very weird after this. No matter how good any player was, even people with better aim than Adam, barely any legit players could replicate Adam's peaks and it would be in very rare instances and not consistent like Adam. Things started to crumble even more, once the admins of ACL would conclude that Adam was an exploiter, which shocked everyone. Adam would be banned from ACL, even being one of ACL's veterans, and the ban would be very controversial. The exploit that Adam was being accused of was ESP. This makes a lot of sense, as Adam peaks are extremely easy to do consistently, with external ESP, 
and Adam being an ESPer would explain everything. At this point, people really didn't know what to think. There wasn't really an exposed video on Adam, so many people were on Adam's side once Adam would make a response to this. This response was deleted for unknown reasons, but there was a re-upload of this, so I'll be using that for this video. Adam would first state in his response that he was going to be showing every sus clip that he was being accused of. Now I just want to say that the original evidence against Adam was really bad, and it makes sense on why the debunk was so easy. Let's begin. Now I firstly want to talk about on how or why Adam could have cheated, and debunk any misinformation. I first want to say that I'm 100% sure that Adam did not use any aim cheats, as some people said. They claimed that Adam used softlock, however I highly doubt this as softlockers aim much differently than Adam. I think Adam's aim was completely legit. Anyways, let's begin with the original claims against Adam. The first clips would be in his officially the best Arsenal player montage that I mentioned before. The first clip would be a triple kill that he got on Hillside. The Hackysators would first claim that Adam was looking at the players behind the wall before they came into sight. Now obviously sounding was very OP at the time, so a lot of these clips can be explained. In Adam's debunk video, he increases the sound to show how he knew the players were there before seeing them in person. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This clip was very convincing and I think this was completely logical as he could clearly hear the shots. Now I will say that perfectly predicting enemies is extremely hard and I think this clip had a lot of luck involved if it was done legitimately. Now what I find suspicious about this clip is not the fact that he was tracking them behind walls, but how good the reaction time was, as it seemed that he fired perfectly when he saw the enemy. He also tracked the 3D enemy with the railgun when no sound was being heard, but this could just be luck. The second clip was from the good for you montage, but there was nothing suspicious about this, and I'm gonna skip this because any sounder could have done this. The third clip, again, was not good evidence at all as this is a common spawn, and any legit player would do this. The fourth, again, was terrible, cause you can literally see the guy spawn on Adam's point of view, and this clip was terrible. This again shows why many people defended Adam, because of the original claims against him, that were really awful. I'm gonna skip the rest, because they weren't suspicious either. Anyways, after Adam debunks the clips, he gives examples of other people doing what he did, like Draco, William, and Too Perfect. Now again, I disagree with this because these guys only did this in rare instances, while Adam did this consistently, which is what I don't agree with, but it is a fair point. He then talks about how the ACL staff were biased, and that many people who were caught in ACL weren't banned. Now after this, the majority of people, as they should, agreed with Adam, including many YouTubers like Draco, Rainster, and many more defending Adam. Now I'll be showing actual suspicious clips and giving in-depth explanations instead of the poor evidence that was provided originally. Let's begin. The majority of the clips that I think are suspicious will be coming from Adam's ACL video and Draco's 1v1 with Adam. If you don't know what ESP is, it basically means that you can see people through walls. For ESP to be hidden, you need to put your recordings in game capture and it's simple as that. In this clip, Adam is holding the barrette in the yellow structure in the dizzy map. Now something really strange happens in this clip that nobody noticed at all. On timestamp 208, he ends up scoping in the most weird location of all. Now I'd say that this could be an accidental scope, but once he finishes the scope looking through the roof of that building, there's a guy coming right out of that perfect area. Now what I think might have happened is that there are two possibilities. Either there was a massive coincidence, or Adam might have accidentally looked at the guy through the wall with ESP. Something you may not realize is that most ESPers tend to focus on the boxes more than the actual game itself, and they actually tend to do these things. And basically what I mean by the boxes is basically the boxes that let you see the players through the walls. Now for the rest of the clips, I'm going to be analyzing Draco's 1v1 with Adam, and show everything that I find suspicious in the entire 1v1. Now a lot of shots that Adam hits in this 1v1 are most definitely possible, and there are rational explanations for it, but some he does way too frequently, and I'll be explaining that throughout. 
In the first kill, Adam does a classic Adam peek on Draco, which can be explained since Draco shot with the op, and the sound of that would probably tell Adam where Draco was in the map, and an Adam peek could have been possible. The second kill was pretty suspicious however, as Draco goes through the roof, you can see that a moment you see a pixel of Adam, Draco was almost dead. This means it was a pre-fire, which is kinda strange since Draco was mid-air at the time, and the fact that Adam predicted this was kinda weird. After a while, Draco is on the op again, and Adam does another Adam peek. At this point, Adam has to be the luckiest person alive, because that's his third pre-fire out of four kills that is hit perfectly. Next, he does another pre-fire, and it ends up being perfect. And keep in mind that Draco is not in the space opening out of the spawn. He gets pre-fired in a completely different area. This is Adam's fourth perfect Adam peak. There has been four Adam peaks so far. This is getting more weird once you realize how many perfect pre-fires he's done. You need to keep in mind for how easy this is with ESP. He does another Adam peak after this again, and on timestamp 811, something so crazy happens that even Draco is confused. Draco doesn't even peek the box, and Adam instantly shoots right where he tries to fake the peek. He then does his sixth Adam peek and manages to hit it perfectly. Then at 1051, he ends up lasering Draco with a nail gun. Now this is super weird because the only way to actually laser someone right before they're gonna peek behind a wall means that you have to pre-fire them. And this means that Adam has actually hit another perfect pre-fire. After this, Adam ends up pre-pulling his melee right when Draco falls, and ends up knifing. If you guys don't know, knifing when you have ESP is really easy, since you can go in the perfect route where they don't see you, and then knife them. Some cheats also let you allow to see the other person's health bar, which makes things even easier. Anyways, that's all I had to talk about in this video, so let me know in the comments below what your opinions are on Adam, and if you guys think he was legit or not. However, at the end of the day, I'd say that Adam is a really nice guy, and he will always be a legend in the Arsenal community. And that is the unsolved mystery of Is Adam. Goodbye.